good evening. Please remain standing and join us in the singing of the Star Spangled Banner, followed immediately by the invocation offered by Father Edwards, our chaplain. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. You may put them on after the national anthem. Also, everyone is reminded to please silence your phones. Let us pray. Loving and almighty God, we ask your presence with us tonight in this arena for the commencement of the class of 2021 of Holy Cross High School. It's a night of achievement, and we thank you for the gifts and talents bestowed on the members of this class. It's also a night of transition we ask you to be with every member of this class as they build their futures. It's a night of family, parents, grandparents and siblings beam with pride and joy for their loved ones who will get their diploma tonight. Let us know your deep presence with us as we send these young women and men out into the world to make a difference, to build your kingdom, to make you known wherever life may take them. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. I am Mrs. Kathy Cimento, Vice Principal of Holy Cross High School. And on behalf of our school administration, I would like to welcome the parents, relatives, and friends of the class of 2021 to the 14th Annual Commencement Program of Holy Cross High School. I would first like to welcome and thank Bishop Joseph Bambera for being here with us this evening. Thank you, Bishop. I'd also like to introduce those who are seated on stage tonight, beginning from your right and moving left. Mrs. Kathy Yaklik, Director of Religious Formation. Father Cyril Edwards, Episcopal Vicar of the Northern Pastoral Region and Chaplain at Holy Cross High School. Monsignor Thomas Muldowney, Vicar General of the Diocese of Scranton. Mrs. Kristen Donahue, Superintendent of Catholic Schools. Seated to the Bishop's right are Mr. Jason Morrison, Diocesan Secretary of Catholic Education, Chief Executive Officer. Mr. Benjamin Tallarico, our principal. Mrs. Candy Taylor, our Dean of Students. I would also like to acknowledge our Assistant Superintendent, who is seated in the audience, Mrs. Ka Ms. Kathleen Gilmartin. We would also like to take the time to thank Ms. Gilmartin 
for her many years as a teacher, principal, and assistant superintendent in our school system. She has been a continued example of excellence to all who have encountered her, and we wish her well in her retirement. We have a few announcements before beginning this evening's program. For anyone taking pictures, please be mindful of one another and courteous to the fact that everyone here this evening has someone special to them. There is a photographer here to capture the evening and especially the moment of receiving the diploma. Finally, while we appreciate that this is an exciting evening for family members and friends, we ask that you be respectful of the recognition deserved by all of the graduates. Please refrain from calling out, using noisemakers, etc., during the ceremony. Thank you for your cooperation. I now call upon Mrs. Candy Taylor, our Dean of Students, to present the salutatorian of the class of 2021. Thank you, Mrs. Shimento. It is my pleasure to introduce Ms. Nora Kelly, the salutatorian of the class of 2021. Nora is the daughter of Tom Pappas and Meg Kelly. Nora has two older sisters, Katie and Marissa, and a younger sister, Sadie, who is a student at All Saints Academy. Nora resides in Scranton and belongs to Divine Mercy Parish. Nora entered Holy Cross after graduating from All Saints Academy, and during her high school career, Nora has been a member of the National Honor Society, Foreign Language Club, Service Club, Crafting Club, Costume Crew for Drama Club, Fiction Fanatics, as well as a Daisy Leader for Girl Scouts and Junior Camp Counselor. In the fall, Nora plans to attend the University of Notre Dame, where she will be entered as an undeclared major. Nora's greatest wish for her classmates is nothing. That nothing stops you from dreaming big, that nothing stands in the way of your success, and that nothing prevents you from being happy. It is my great pleasure to present to you the class of 2021 salutatorian, Miss Nora Kelly. Good evening, thank you and welcome. Your Excellency Bishop Bambera, Monsignor Muldoni, Vicar General of the Diocese of Scranton, Mr. Jason Morrison, CEO and Secretary for Catholic Education, Mrs. Kristen Donahue, Superintendent of Catholic Schools, Father Edwards, Mr. Tallarico, Administration, Faculty, Staff, Family, Friends, and Classmates. I am honored to be standing here in front of you today. Honored, but honestly not super thrilled, as I am not a huge fan of public speaking. I'm not a natural public speaker. It wasn't easy to put together this speech, and I really didn't know what to say. So when I was trying to come up with something to say, of course I thought about the future, as we all do during the time surrounding graduation, what we will be doing after graduation, if you're going to college, what you will major in, if you will be successful, and so on. But my mind kept wandering to the past and to the four years that we spent together at Holy Cross. So that's where this speech is heading, to the past. I thought about how we have grown during our last four years of Catholic education together. While obviously growing in the basics like math, English, and science, our education has, more importantly, helped us to deeply develop our faith and grow our relationship with God and each other. Our Catholic education has uniquely provided us with so many opportunities, both in school and out in the community, to serve others. For me, at least, that has been the heart of the four years at Holy Cross. But what I mostly thought about when my mind kept going to the past four years was all of the everyday memories that we shared. 
For those of you who don't know my family, we own an RV. And when I was writing this speech while on an RV trip over Memorial Day weekend, I thought about my family playing the alphabet game while on road trips when I was little. So that's where my mind led me to, our class memories at Holy Cross, alphabet style, which I hope will make you smile. A. A is for all of the PowerPoints we had to do for Mr. DeLeo's class. B. B is for the blessing of our rings during junior ring night. C. C is for the chupa chups that Mr. Paddock always gave us in class. D. D is for the special day that Sister Denise became an American citizen. E. E is for Father Edward's constant and calming presence in both academics and sports, as well as in the hallway between classes. F. F is for freshman orientation, when we were young and scared, but excited for all that Holy Cross had in store for us. G. G is for green and silver night every year. H. H is for Hershey Park, golfing, or whatever else we did during senior skip day. Sorry, Mr. Tallarico. <laughs> I. I is for the interesting projects that we had to do, such as the snowflakes we made in Mrs. McCain's math class. J. J is for jamming to go into the world during Sister Denise's class. K. K is for Mrs. Wetter, knowing that we needed to start thinking about our future when she assigned us the college projects during our sophomore year. L. L is for the last day of school when we signed everyone's shirts. M. M is for the mission monkey that was passed around school, another way that Holy Cross taught us, in a fun way, to care for and think about those who are less fortunate. N. N is for basically no snow days this year, thanks to COVID and virtual school. O. O is for the four years of class Olympics. P. P is for the pig and frog dissection in Mrs. Gatron's and Miss Meeser's classes. Q. Q is for our quality teachers who care so much about our well-being, including Mrs. Hudak, Mrs. Pollock, and so many more. R. R is for reciting the Julius Caesar speech in Mrs. Wetter's class, some of us with much more enthusiasm than others. S. S is for sword fighting during Romeo and Juliet in Miss Stonikinas' class. T. T is for Mr. Tallarico and his hatred for social media. U. U is for the ukuleles that we played during freshman year. V. V is for the cooking videos we made for Mrs. Harris's class. W. W is for watching Rocky IV in Sister Denise's class. X. X is for Xmas, in other words, Christmas, and all the things we did, such as deck the halls, wearing ugly Christmas sweaters, and collecting food and gifts for those who are less fortunate. Why? Why is for Mrs. Yaklik and our shared disappointment at the canceled summer service trip due to COVID. C. Z is for Zoom meetings, way too many Zoom meetings and Google Meets. I know that you share these memories and millions of others about your time at Holy Cross. I hope that you will look back at them fondly as the years go on. Even if we are all a bit scared as we leave our Holy Cross bubble, I hope you don't worry about the future. We have been well prepared by Holy Cross. We have been prepared in not only academics, but also in care and concern for others. The future might not be exactly how you planned it, and it likely will not be what you expect. You will likely hit obstacles and challenges along the way. But we must keep our faith in God, who has been a loving and influential presence throughout our time at Holy Cross. At the end of each day, if you can look at yourself in the mirror and honestly say that you did your best, and you do it again and again, day after day, you will have succeeded. I know this is what Holy Cross taught me. I wish you all success in your future endeavors. Thank you.
Thank you, Nora. You truly represent the very best of Holy Cross High School. Now for the most special part of our program, which is the conferring of diplomas to the members of the graduating class. The presentation of the candidates for graduation will be done by Mr. Benjamin Tallarico, our principal, and His Excellency Bishop Bambera will confer the diplomas. Just a few reminders for the good of the order and dignity of the process. We remind everyone that each and every one of these graduates is being honored here tonight, and rightfully so. We know you have probably one or maybe two of the graduates that is most special to you personally, and you want to share your enthusiasm and pride when he or she walks across the stage. However, we ask that you be respectful of each student's moment on this stage and hold your applause and any other enthusiastic response until all the names have been announced. Thank you. Having satisfactorily completed the course of study prescribed by the Diocese of Scranton, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and Holy Cross High School, and having met the requirements for graduation, the following students are therefore entitled to receive this diploma given in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania on this fourth day of June in the year of our Lord, 2021. Jack O'Malley Allardyce, Diploma with Distinction, Summa Cum Laude. Catherine Grace Augustine. Bria Ann Began. Emma Lauren Bielman. Patrick Michael Benny, Diploma with Distinction, Summa Cum Laude. Jillian Francis Brennan. Sarah Lynn Calais. Sarah's diploma will be given to her by her uncle, a member of our faculty, Mr. Al Calais. Paige Marie Kasky. Luca Anthony Seminaro. Kelsey Ann Conlin. Laurel Marie Cortazar. Arabella Cecile Cox. James B. Davis. Matthew Adrian Deck. Carter Elizabeth Engelhart. Kylie Noel Engelman. Ryan Philip Evans. James Michael Fay. Emily Jane Ferguson.
Kylie Ryan Gale. Patrick Robert Gilman, Jr. Emily Rose Pikus. William Robert Hanna. Lauren Elizabeth Hegedus. Ryan Joseph Heaster, Diploma with Distinction, Summa Cum Laude. Amaya S. Jackson. Alice Julia Jones. Kevin Joseph Jumper. Diploma with Distinction, Magna Cum Laude. Should I say William? Will Anthony Kalinich. Robert J. Kane. Great job. Nora Ann Kelly. Diploma with Distinction, Summa Cum Laude. Molly Marie Lansidel. Thomas Theodore Lee. Abigail Grace Lentowski, Diploma with Distinction, Summa Cum Laude. Mark Lopez. We are very proud to announce that Mark will be serving our country in the Marines this summer. Brandon Ludovici, Jr. David Joseph Mariotti. Julia Hockey Mazur. Aaron Elena McGee, Diploma with Distinction, Summa Cum Laude. Catherine Grace McGovern. Jacob Richard McLean. Nathan Patrick McLean. Ashlyn Marie McNally. Tyler Lauren Mendocino. Tyler will receive his diploma from his aunt Mrs. Candy Taylor, our Dean of Students. Samuel Morales. Sarah Elizabeth Murphy. Alexander Joseph Knoll. Alexander will be receiving his diploma from his aunt, a member of our faculty, Mrs. Justine Tone. Peyton Olivia Phillips, the diploma with distinction, summa cum laude. Christia Lords Polizzi. William 
Henry Rover II. Craig T. Roman. David Christopher Romansky. David will receive his diploma from his uncle, member of our faculty, Mr. Al Calais. Corey Thomas Scochin. Caroline Grace Schaffern. Andrew Nicholas Skutak. Alexis Marie Tanana. Ready? Mikel Danila A. Tenev. Connor Benjamin Tone. Connor will receive his diploma from his mother, Mrs. Justine Tone, a member of our faculty. Rebecca Maureen Tone. Rebecca will receive her diploma from her mother, Mrs. Justine Tone, a member of our faculty. Christina Lynn Trinovich. Elizabeth Wallace. Douglas Patrick Walsh. At this time, I would ask the members of the class to stand. Ladies and gentlemen, please congratulate the Holy Cross High School Class of 2021. I now ask the President of the Class of 2021, Mr. Patrick Benny, to come forward to lead his classmates in the symbolic turning of the tassel and then their class prayer. Graduates, please stand.
Good and gracious God, today we, the Holy Cross High School class of 2021, gather as one last, one chapter of our life closes and another opens. During these past four years at Holy Cross, we have been blessed with the opportunity to become, to become closer with you, and your presence has been an integral part in our individual growth as students and members of the community. As we reflect on our high school careers, let us be reminded of your presence in all of the moments, both tragedies and triumphs. Especially over the past year, the class of 2021 has faced unprecedented challenges as a result of the pandemic. However, you have given us the strength and guidance to confront these challenges and overcome them, and our hearts are filled with gratitude for this. Lord, thank you not only for continuously strengthening and guiding us, but also for the people that have been essential to each of us individually in these past four years. Our parents, the faculty and staff of Holy Cross, fellow classmates, and so many others who have supported us. We are grateful for our Catholic education, which has been instrumental in our intellectual growth, spiritual growth, and development in character. As we look toward our futures, let us be reminded of all that we have learned throughout our time at Holy Cross. And as we begin a new chapter of our lives, help us to use these lessons to impact the world in a way which glorifies you. After we graduate, each of us will begin a new journey in our life. God, we humbly ask that you give us the strength and guidance in our future endeavors, as well as the wisdom and courage to live our faith in this, in this new journey. When we turn our tassels at graduation, we will no longer be students of Holy Cross High School. Some of us may be students at, of a university, and others may be entering the workforce or the military. However, all of us will be Holy Cross graduates. As each of us seek a career or further our education, let us be reminded of our identity as graduates of Holy Cross High School, as well as disciples of Christ, to go out into the world and to leave our mark. Amen. Thank you, Patrick. It is now my pleasure to once again present our principal, Mr. Benjamin Tolerico, for his remarks. Thank you, Mr. Shimento. Tonight I wish to thank my fellow administrators and the entire faculty of Holy Cross High School for their dedication not only to education, but to holding steadfast a higher standard of truth that sets a Catholic school apart from all others. Each day they are living examples of the gospel message both in word and deed. This has been a year unlike any other in our professional careers, and each of you have both met and risen above the unique challenges put before you, not primarily for your own sake, but for the sake of your students and providing them with a high quality Catholic education. Any words of praise offered to you can only scratch the th surface of the magnitude and depth of the effort you put forth for those entrusted to your care. But in any event, on behalf of everyone in this building and all the students of Holy Cross, thank you. We also offer our congratulations to the parents of our graduates, who should be especially proud this evening as they close another chapter in the lives of their sons and daughters. Thank you for entrusting your children to us, and may God bless each of you. To the diocesan school officials, our diocesan secretary of Catholic education and chief executive officer, Mr. Jason Morrison, and Mrs. Kristen Dunahue, our Superintendent of Catholic Schools. We thank you for your presence here this evening and all that you have done for our schools and in a special way to truly thank you for your unwavering leadership over this past year and a half. Your steadfast leadership has given all of us a sense of comfort and stability in a very uncomfortable world. 
Also to our assistant superintendents, Ms. Kathleen Gilmartin and Ms. Michelle Long, who are in the crowd this evening. To Monsignor Muldowney, Vicar General of the Diocese and moderator of the Curia, for his continued support and especially for his presence with us here this evening as we see our graduates off. And to His Excellency, Bishop Bambera, who continues to show his unwavering support and commitment to Catholic education in our diocese. We have appreciated all you have done to keep Catholic education available and affordable to our students and families, but also for the leadership of our entire diocese, especially during this pandemic. And now to our graduates. Tonight, once again, I would like to acknowledge the class of 2021's collective plans and achievements for post-secondary education. I would like to share some of the highlights that was presented at our academic and service banquet. 95% of our graduates will be entering post-secondary education in the fall of 2021. 63% of those attending colleges will be attending a private college or university while the remaining 37% will begin their post-secondary education at a public or state-related university or trade school. With equal pride, we are pleased that 31 members of the class will be attending one of our fine local colleges and universities. We are very proud of the fact that 46% of those attending college have chosen to continue their education at a Catholic college or university. And we are especially proud of the young man who will be going into the United States Marine Corps to serve our country. In addition to an outstanding and impressive list of college acceptances, the class of 2021 has also distinguished itself in the area of scholarships earned. 82% of the class have been awarded an impressive array of academic scholarships and grants. In total, the scholarships and grants offered to the Holy Cross class of 2021 add up to 392. The value of those scholarships awarded is a very impressive $16,770,970. In recognition for their outstanding efforts and accomplishments during the past four years, once again, I would ask the entire cl class to stand and be recognized. And finally, on a personal note, I would like to remind you of the two challenges I placed before you when I met with you as a class at the beginning of each school year. First, reach your potential in all aspects of your life, your faith, your studies, your relationships. Be the best and give the best that you are capable of. God has given all of you many gifts and talents. Gifts are meant to be used for there are few things worse than a life filled with wasted talent. Second, have no regrets. Again, God has given us a limited time on this earth with opportunities may, may only come once. Make the best decisions and take advantage of those opportunities when they arise. I ask you to reflect on the last four years and the past several days and heed the words of your salutatorian and valedictorian given tonight and the wonderful, inspiring words offered by Father Edwards last evening in his homily. Accept each of their challenges and go forward. And may God continue to bless you, the Holy Cross High School Class of 2021. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure at this time to introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2021, Ms. Peyton Phillips. <laughs> Peyton is the daughter of Justin and Nancy Phillips. Peyton has three older siblings, Michaela, Tristan, and Malachi. Malachi, who is a proud member of the class of 2017. Peyton attended Mountain View Elementary and she and her family live in Nicholson and belong to Lake Sheridan Bible Chapel. During her high school career, Peyton has been a member of the National Honor Society in which she served as vice president, student council, PJAS, foreign language club, history club, track and field, 
and soccer, which she served as captain. Peyton's academic career will continue at the University of Connecticut, where she will pursue a major in biomedical engineering with a pre-med track, and she hopes to pursue a career in medicine, either in pediatrics or non-invasive cardiology. Peyton's greatest hope for her classmates is that each graduate finds success in his or her future endeavors while using their faith and experiences from throughout these past four years to guide them. I am extremely proud to present the class of 2021's valedictorian, Peyton Phillips. Good evening, thank you, and welcome. Your Excellency Bishop Bambera, Monsignor Mondow Muldowney, Vicar General of the Diocese of Scranton, Mr. Jason Morrison, CEO and Secretary for Catholic Education, Mrs. Kristen Donahue, Superintendent of Catholic Schools, Father Edwards, Mr. Tallarico, Administration, Faculty, Staff, Family, and Friends, and Classmates. Tonight, in a gathering much larger than most of us have experienced in well over a year, we are blessed to be able to celebrate the culmination of four years distinguished by the accomplishments, service, and personal and spiritual growth of each member of the Holy Cross High School Class of 2021. While at Holy Cross, the Class of 2021 has fervently served our community, achieved many prestigious academic and athletic accomplishments such as awards in the Pennsylvania Junior Academy of Science, medals on the National Latin, Spanish, and French exams, National Merit Scholar recognition, district championships, state medals, collegiate recruitment, and numerous other accolades. Together, we learned many valuable lessons to carry with us. From Mrs. Gatrone, we learned the benefit of wiggling our toes to get the blood flowing to our brain before a test. Sister Denise taught us through a song to go into the world and take God's love into the world. Because of Mr. DeLeo, we can draw a map of the Acropolis in Athens, Greece, including every building, statue, and monument with dimensions. Ms. Stucker opened our eyes to the profound themes portrayed in the movie Cars, and in Mrs. Yaklik's moral theology class, we learned that if you want to make a change in the world, start by making your bed. There are many unique aspects of the class of 2021, but one that sets us apart is our Catholic education, which has enabled us not only to enrich our academic profile, but also deepen our relationships with God and develop into more well-rounded individuals with values rooted in our faith. From Mrs. Leon, we learned that science explains how we got here, but God tells us why we are here. In the words of Pope Francis, the world tells us to seek success, power, and money. God tells us to seek humility, service, and love. To the class of 2021, God has given us each a unique purpose in life and blessed us all with distinct gifts. As we each begin our, our journey in discovering this purpose, let us be inspired by what we have learned at Holy Cross, to be guided by our faith, and to reflect God's love in all our future endeavors. As Ralph Waldo Emerson said, do not follow where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Each member of the Holy Cross class of 2021 has unique talents, blessings, and opportunities to pursue. And our individual and collective paths have led us to this moment where we face a fork in the road. While our exceptional group of young men and women have journeyed together for so many miles, we will all choose different paths as we leave here tonight. No matter the path, whether this be attending college, serving our country, or entering the workforce, each carries the special assets of a prestigious Catholic education, the life-altering wisdom imparted on us by our teachers and other members of the school community, and the everlasting support of the Holy Cross family. As we diverge from this ceremony, we will each build our lives upon the solid, God-centered foundation formed at Holy Cross. 
The events of the past year have tested us in many ways, but more importantly, we have learned to adapt, overcome, and persevere through adversity. In the wise words of my dad, no good story ever started with one time when I was sitting on the couch. We will continue to strive. We will continue to achieve, serve, and prevail. We will indubitably blaze trails where none have gone before and have many great stories to tell. God bless the class of 2021. Thank you. On behalf of the administration and faculty, we congratulate Peyton for her well-deserved honor. She represents well the values and strengths of our Catholic elementary and high schools. I would now like to introduce Mr. Jason Morrison, Diocesan Secretary for Catholic Schools, Chief Executive Officer, to offer his remarks. Good evening. Wow, this is an incredible moment. And I'm inspired by the monumental task that it's taken us to get here and the role each of you have played in making this year possible. To the faculty who never wavered in their commitment to serve the students entrusted to our care. Your actions are nothing short of it extraordinary and you set the model for greatness in teaching. To Mr. Tallarico and the administration who navigated the path to success and truly made this year possible, you model servant leadership. And to the staff who worked behind the scenes every day to ensure that the school ran efficiently and that the school was kept clean and safe. And to the grandparents, guardians, friends, families that have sacrificed so much to get us to this day and supported all of us during these times. And finally, and most importantly to all of you, the graduates, for your flexibility and willingness to learn in a new environment, but to do so with the same focus and drive. Thank you. While almost everything in the last year has been defined within the context of the COVID-19 pandemic, I believe that is too limiting for all of you and what you have come to know as our graduates. Do not allow what has been lost throughout the past year to divine and characterize your legacy as the class of 2021. You are so much more. You epitomize perseverance, grit, determination, compassion, and most importantly, a community of faith. You are now called to lead a world in need of healing. And it's precisely because of, not in spite of, the pandemic and those experiences throughout the past year that you are prepared to heed this calling. So, as we prepare to send you forth, I share with you the words of St. Augustine that have become very important in my life, and I hope that you take them with you. Pray as though everything depends on God, and act and work as though everything depends on you. As a graduate of a Catholic high school, you are better prepared to enliven the intent of these words. You have been blessed with the opportunity to deepen your relationship with God and understand the importance of prayer in your life. But just as importantly, you have learned that prayer alone is not enough. To achieve excellence, you must take personal responsibility and put in the real effort to accomplish your goals. 
So I leave you with this. Work hard, pray hard, and learn from your lived experiences. That is what must define your life and your legacy. Congratulations again to the class of 2021, and God bless. I now call upon His Excellency, Bishop Bambera, to offer his thoughts and then the closing benediction. Please stand. I, I really think that that's just a subtle way for you to stretch, so <laughs> you can be seated. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so very proud to be a part of this gathering tonight to celebrate the class of 2021 of Holy Cross High School. After the most challenging of years, you've made it to the finish line, and here we are tonight celebrating you and all of your achievements. We celebrate so many things that you have made happen in your lives and in our world this year your ability to overcome adversity and disappointments, your resolve to recreate your corner of the world, your eagerness and willingness to laugh and to discover light and life, even in the midst of the darkest of moments that came your way this year. Yes, I'm sure you could give me a litany of numerous special events and experiences that should have been significant markers in your personal history and weren't for one reason or another because of this unusual year. But I would also suggest that you graduates, more than most of us, have received something of value at this significant moment in your lives something that most of us have spent a lifetime trying to acquire. In the face of a once-in-a-century global pandemic, you've learned early on in life that life is both precarious and precious. This year has taught you that your plans, hopes, and dreams can be changed in an instant, can't they? For as invincible as you and all of us see ourselves to be, none of us can ultimately control our future. That belongs to God. Yet this moment in your lives, and ours as well, has also taught us that in the face of a precarious world, there are lasting things worth treasuring that no pandemic can ever take away from us. There really are. And you know what those lasting things are. We've all come to discover them this year, haven't we? The lasting blessings of family, friends, and the relationships that we've acquired. The knowledge that you have acquired during your time at Holy Cross integrity of spirit, love generously given and received, and faith, faith in the presence of God that has the power to carry us through whatever our world unfolds. Graduates, more than ever, as we move out of this crisis, we need you, and we need you to use your gifts and to make this moment and our future better. We need your hope, your determination, your generous spirits, and your faith. Today, as we proudly send you forth to a world that's changing before our eyes, I hope that you do so with gratitude. Gratitude for many gifts that you've received. Gratitude for the dedicated surface service of the faculty and staff of this great high school 
that carried all of you through a most tumultuous year. Gratitude for the contributions and the generous support of parishes and pastors who have helped to make Catholic education possible. And gratitude for the support of your family, your friends, and so many others who have helped bring you to this moment today. And as you go forth, I'd ask that you remember always to embrace these simple treasured lessons for living that you've learned over the past few years. First, be men and women for others. Realize that the world does not end at the tip of your noses, but that you and I are all called to be concerned to serve and to embrace the lives of the people whom God weaves into your own. Attend to your life's work with integrity, grounded in faith and with a profound respect for the life of every human person who comes your way. Forgive often and learn to ask for forgiveness. That helps all of us move forward in a positive way. Be accepting of others no matter who they are, no matter where they come from, no matter what they look like, no matter what they say or believe. They are created in the image and likeness of God. And serve, serve generously with no one excluded as Jesus gives us example. These lessons, graduates, rooted in the timeless values of the gospel will enable you to face any pandemic and whatever unfolds in your life with hope. And one more thing, know that as you leave this place tonight, as graduates of Holy Cross High School, that you do not journey alone. Wherever you go and however life unfolds, we walk with you, we love you, and we commend you always to the grace, to the protection, and the presence of God. And so we pray, graduates, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you, Bishop Bambera. Before concluding our program, please note, after the alma mater, the honored guests, faculty, and graduates will process out. We ask everyone to remain at your seats until they have processed past. The graduates will follow those processing off the stage to the back of the floor and pose for a yearbook picture and tossing of the caps prior to leaving. Then they will be available for family photos. Students are reminded to come to the table at the bottom of the stairs to pick up their diplomas and other items from the secretaries before leaving. As we close our program this evening, we ask that everyone please stand and join the newest alumni of Holy Cross High School in the singing of our alma mater, the words are found in your program. <laughs> <laughs>